Hi, I'm Leslie Madigan, part owner of Madigan Trucking. It's a family business. So my mother, my father, my sister and I all own the business. We've been established since my father started in 1969. We incorporated in 2001, so that brought on a new avenue to the business. At one time at our peak, we were running 35 trucks in total with all the owner operators that were leased to us. And then in 2005, my father was forced into retirement. I took over operations from him and never looked back. Downsized a little bit then, and then then I downsized again in 13, and now I'm single owner operator with a few guys that I help out with loads. We do load sharing and that, primarily all flatbed and steel, a little bit of building materials. A lot of pride in the family business. We enjoy what we do amidst all the chaos and high fuel prices and other things that government regulation throws at us. This truck works every day. Now, this is my 1996 International 9600. This is a truck with a long, long story. In 98, we bought a used International from our local dealer in Cornwall, Ontario. And the salesman happened to call us a couple months later. He said, there's gliders sitting in Chicago. So my father endeavored to find out what the price was because everything is based on money. <laughs> And we got a really good deal on this truck, and we put it together with an 85 that we had, so we glided the 85. So this truck was initially built with a Big Cam 3 Cummins 855 CID with a 13 over that came out of a different truck, 370 rears on 11R24.5 tires with new air ride, built at 244 wheelbase on its first conception, if I can use that word. In 2001, we decided to repower we pulled the Cummins out and put a Detroit Series 60 in. That took a full year for the conversion just because of time constraints, wiring harness, different things like that. We didn't do it in-house. It was a guy close to us that did it. And then it got all put back together. And the first thing that happened was the transmission let go because it was a 1200 Series torque and it quickly evaporated. <laughs> so we dropped in a uh, RTO 146.13 out of an 89 that a friend of ours had. And that ran flawlessly for several years through five different differentials because the Dana rear ends started getting tired. And when the fifth power divider blew in the Danas, we brought it into the shop and I had a look at it. And I guess 10 years plus of winners by then, the old 85 suspension had really deteriorated. The liner in the frame had gotten very thin and rusty and it was in poor condition. So we decided, rather than rebuild the differential, we decided to cut the truck in half and marry it up with a later model back in. And at that point, I decided to get clever, and I lengthened the truck one inch. So we went from 244 <laughs> wheelbase to 245. So at the time that we redid the back end, that was 2011, I'd been doing a lot of research and reading a lot about the West Coast, how they use odd number wheelbases due to the concrete highways big formula and I don't know it was interesting to me so I decided hey I got the truck apart it's cut in half now's the perfect time to do something wild <laughs> not that you're a perfectionist or anything no no, no. <laughs> so we put it we put an inch in the wheelbase and then welded the truck back together and the uh, truck's been working flawlessly ever since my father this past fall 2021 of October turned 80 and this was the only truck in our fleet that we had not repainted our corporate blue so this truck went in for a facelift and got a beautiful showing shiny coat of Odell Blue. Really gave it new life.